our integral versus, okay, versus is equal to this integral. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video, part two of the Integral Baturudes. And last time we have found out that this beautiful individual, this, this fig bich, is equal to gamma function something or a natural log of something, okay, to the something power. And this thing converged, okay, let's, let's put this here again, for t being strictly greater than one, not zero. Papa, do not fuck it up. Now we are going to deal with this thing, just integrate with respect to t, but to not confuse anything and to work with the parameter t yet again, we are going to say that we are just going to switch numerator and denominator. And the hardest thing about this is basically to determine when it does converge. Okay, it's, 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 it's a bit tricky, we are going to talk about it. So at first we are going to go through the very same process yet again that we did before. So at first I would like to Okay, versus is part of the integral, okay. Um, <laughs> we are going to rewrite this as x to the negative t of power and t to the x power as e to the x times natural log of t. Okay, we are going to rewrite it. It's the very same process, those are really closely related. It's just going to be a little bit um, different at the end when it comes to the signs, basically. So this is going to give us x to the negative t of power and also t, um, I'm terrible, sorry, e to the x times the natural log of t, integrated with respect to x, yet again. Now, hear me out. It's going to be with respect to the gamma function yet again. And now, by simply introducing the substitution, let u be equal to x times the natural log of t, it's not going to do any good, okay? I'm going to write it out, let u be equal to x times the natural log of t. Why is this not going to work out? Now, our e to the x, if the natural log of t were to a greater than zero, then e to the something grows way fa faster than one over x to the t of power. And this is not good. Our integral would become unbounded. It would not converge. Meaning we need our natural log of t to be between, well, zero, a negative infinity, meaning it needs to be negative. We need our natural log of t, need natural log of t to be less than zero. What does it mean for natural log of t to be less than zero? Well, we need our t to be strictly less than one, okay? I hope you can see where this does come from. It needs to be bounded between one, okay, and, and zero in an open interval, meaning overall, t needs to be strictly less than one. Then this thing would converge. But now, if we just were to use this substitution, okay, then we would run into problems yet again. Let us suppose that we were to use this substitution. Now, if our x were to go to zero, well, this whole thing would also go to zero, this is good. But now, this overall, this right hand side is going to be negative. If we let this go to infinity, then our u would go to negative infinity. This is an equivalent formulation of the gamma function that you could use, but you would need to chug around with the signs. We don't want it, we want to make it easy on us. We are just going to set everything equal to negative u because then when x approaches infinity, this goes to negative infinity, negative and negative becomes positive. Meaning, by introducing this substitution, we are going to get our infinity up here that we need for the gamma function. I hope this did make sense. I wanted to, to take some time just to explain it a bit further because this is the trickiest part about this integral actually. This one is harder to deal with than this one, to be honest. Now, we are going to go ahead and substitute everything in. Now, x is nothing other than negative u, our natural log of t. Also, we know that negative du over the natural log of t is nothing other than dx. We are going to plug everything in. We are going to get x being nothing other than what I just said, negative u over the natural log of t to the negative t of power, okay? 
And also we are going to get E to the negative U. This is what you wanted. Is this what you want? <laughs> Marquez Brownie, oh, that's hard. E to the negative U. And we know what the X is. It's nothing other than negative du over the natural log of T. Okay. Now, we got a lot of stuff together. We have one over natural log of t to the negative t of power. This makes natural log of t. Also, we have one over natural log of t. This overall, if we use the linearity of the integral, leaves us with um, natural log to the t minus one of power of t. Okay, that's supposed to be a natural log, not an h or whatever the fuck, I don't care. Also, we have negative one to negative t plus one power, but we can take the reciprocal and it's going to be the same as net a negative one to the t minus one power. So we can say this is negative natural log of t to the t minus one power. Okay, I hope you can see where all of this came from. Here's negative sign now. And also we have our integral from zero to infinity of u to the negative t power e to the negative u integrated with respect to u. And now that the hardest part is done, we can make use of our Boyd gamma function yet again. This time we have u to the negative t power, so meaning this is going to give us the gamma function of 1 minus t. Okay? Meaning overall. Our integral versus, okay? versus is equal to this integral <laughs> is equal to okay we are going to get if we were to bring this in the same form kind of as here we are going to take 1 minus t so 1 over this stuff to the 1 minus t power so we are going to get gamma function of 1 minus t over negative the natural log of t to the 1 minus t power and then we are done now if we were to compare those two they are going to look a bit differently. Like I said, signs are switched around a little bit. Maybe it simply has to do something with the convergence that we have right here at hand. But yeah, this thing is, is alternating depending on your team. Can also get complex, so we are going to have complex solutions. I want you guys to notice that our t could not approach 1. This is something that we do not want, simply be because gamma function of 0 is going to become unbounded. Our gamma function looks something like this, and it's going to become unbounded when it approaches 0 in the argument. And yeah, this is it. I hope you did enjoy this integral battle. I hope it was kind of insightful for you. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, make a comment, channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those teachers I created, or support the channel on Patreon. Up until the next video, have a flamble day. Ciao. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Ein. Immer ein. Aber Maxi? Ohne was schöner. So schöner. Pusten. Oh ja. Oh, in der Ach, wie die Götter. Ich bin auch behind the scenes. Oh.